Hi guys, I'm Ustia and I'm addicted to stationery. I'm the person who noticed stationery almost everywhere and in this video I want to talk about Smiths and Notebooks in movies. What's in my bag is one of my favorite type of videos on YouTube and a few years ago I saw a British vlog video about Sarah Harris and there she has a luxury Smiths and Notebook with her initials and it was the moment when I fell in love. Since then I realized that I noticed Smiths and Notebooks in different movies and dramas because they have very characteristic details, fine leather, gold sides, special bookmarks and the Nile blue paper which is the most recognizable detail of these notebooks. I have one and uh, Thmissen was established in 1887 and in 1916 their paper was copyrighted. It is instantly recognizable by unmistakable blue color and the watermark which you can see when the page is held up to the light. I don't know if you can see it. This is so iconic brand that these notebooks become a secret social passport. Uh, all the journalists, chef, editors, uh, writers, explorers are in love with these diaries and uh, now I'll show you in what movies and dramas I've noticed them. And I'll start with Gilmore Girls. It is one of my favorite drama ever and uh, I watch it every fall. At first I was in Rory Gilmore theme, but at least past two times my favorite Gilmore girl was Lorelai. In one scene she has a smitten and personalized pocket diary in navy color and they were planning something with Rory at looks. In this scene I see that her notebook cover has three words but at Smithson you can write everything you want on the cover. The next film is the most popular film about fashion magazine The Devil Wears Prada and the editor Miranda Priestley <laughs> had a desk diary in a rose toffee color which pop up in several scenes. Here it is. In Gentleman, Navy Desk Diaries pocket pop up on the main character's wife's desk and it looks so chic, restrained and very appropriate. I love the Cotta Johnson so much that I watch at the high note almost every time I want to feel myself comfy and uh, the Grace Davis, the main character, except the Cotta Johnson, had a classic Navy notebook and it pops up in a moment when uh, Dakota Johnson realized that Grace Davis was actually working with her new songs. And uh, yeah, I really recommend this film because it's very calm and aesthetic. And I love this notebook. Another one is On the Rocks. A uh, film about a girl who can't find herself among all the duties she has and she has some special relationships with her father. And there were two moments where Smithson pops up. The first Smithson pops up with her desk in her office and uh, its classic portobello notebook in blue. And uh, another one, a little pocket diary pops up uh, in her father's hands uh, at the restaurant where they had their lunch. I love this blue color, maybe it's my favorite. Gossip Girl. Uh, honestly, I'm not a big fan of Gossip Girl, but I have a friend who remember all the moments and she told me about the moment where Smith's an organizer, a dark red organizer pops up. Uh, it was a moment of uh, season 5, it was Diana's notebook with a coat and uh, Nate found it in a commode of her and Blair sold the coat. Something like that. And the last film I want to talk about is uh, Sherlock Holmes' Game of Shadows and uh, it was about a little uh, dark red uh, diary, pocket diary and I think it was a diary from 90s, so I'll show you the modern version of it here. 
So that's it. I try to convince myself that I'm a normal person and uh, I'm not the only one who noticed these notebooks in all the movies. I hope you guys like this video and 